since I've done a few videos on the Behringer's UCA222, that uh, tiny audio interface with two in, two out, line level RCA with uh, USB connection. And I thought uh, I'll run some tests, basic tests, to see about the audio quality and the analog to digital conversion and so on. So the first thing what I've done is I've just connected the unit to my laptop, a USB port, with nothing connected to the inputs and the output. Um, and the monitoring switch is also turned off. This is the noise level that I'm actually getting. As you can see on the screen, at about 1 kilohertz, um, on average, I'm getting about minus 107 or 108 dB noise floor. Now, according to the documentation that it came with, the analog digital uh, conversion signal to noise ratio is supposed to be 89 dB at 1 kilohertz. So that is not bad. So it's actually performing much better than what the booklet informs me. And the sampling rate that I have on as I'm testing is 16 bit at 44.1 kilohertz. If we quickly have a look at our preferences, as you can see, I'm just using Wave Out. I'm not using ASIO. Um, Straighten it, uh, Windows driver, line in and uh, line out, 16 bit, 44.1. So um, I'm not worried about recording or uh, playback at this stage, just as what the booklet says. So that's what it said. And uh, as you can see, it's a pretty quiet for what it is. Um, it's very good quiet level. So next, let's have a look at the output uh, of, it says, the documentation says a digital to analog conversion supposed to be 96 dB typical at 1 kilohertz A weighted. Um, so I'm going to plug in the output of the UCA222 into my Yamaha AG03 line level input, put everything into Unity, and we will be able to check noise floor of UCA222 via uh, my Yamaha AG03. So now I have the output RCA lead connected to the line level input of my Yamaha AG03 and the signal is at unity. Now to test the output, what I have done, I'm just running a pink noise, which I downloaded from audiocheck.net, uh, a pink noise, and put it into a loop mode. And this is actually going to be playing through the UCA222. So the output of my media player is going to UCA222. And the RCA analog output of UCA222, as you've seen in the video, is feeding into my AG03. And my DAW Reaper is actually set to listen to Yamaha AG03. And that's my input. So you can see as I speak, the levels are going up because that's what is being listened to. So I'm going to play um, the pink noise and then adjust the input level to minus 3 dB. So that way I know that the output is level to minus 3 dB using pink noise. And then when I stop playing the pink noise, uh, at least I know that the input volume is at certain known value, then we'll be able to measure the noise level of UCA222. So here we go. I hope that makes sense. If not, uh, feel free to comment below and I'll explain further what I'm trying to do. Just uh, watch out for your ears because this may be a little bit noisy because it's a pink noise. So you might want to turn the volume down if my volume down from my video editing is not um, low enough. Just in case. Here we go.
Okay, so as you've seen, I adjusted the input level on my Yamaha AG03 so that the maximum uh, volume, uh, input volume coming is at minus 3 dB. So we can close this and finish it off. So now I'm just going to turn my microphone off so it doesn't distract completely off um, and we'll be able to hear the blank output. So the, the UCA222 is not connected anything, it's not playing anything, it's just a plain uh, blank output that is being sent out to the RCA output and we should be able to monitor our input. Here we go, I'm just going to turn off my microphone. So it looks like uh, we do have minus uh, 96 dB and 1 kilohertz, but I've noticed some peaks here. So around 7.7 .7, uh, kilohertz or 7.8 kilohertz, the, the noise actually goes up into a peak to minus 83, and that's probably what the hiss that we are uh, currently listening or hearing. And there's another peak as well. Pretty much at the double frequency at 15 kilohertz, it's minus 87 dB as well. So that's why uh, when uh, you're hearing it, there is that noise. So the output does have uh, quite high noise without anything connected. So a little bit noisy on the output. It's okay on the input, it's very nice and clear. The noise floor is quite low, but the output is a little bit noisy. Just so that we can have a comparison between the Behringer UCA222 plugged in to my line input of the Yamaha AG03, I have disconnected it now, but I have left the uh, line level input volume uh, fader uh, the same, so we can just compare it. I'm just going to turn my microphone off so we can actually see what the actual noise floor level of Yamaha AG03 is, so that way we can eliminate any noise introduced by Yamaha AG03. So here I go, my microphone fader fully turned off. So there we go. So it's about minus 708 dB noise floor coming in. Well, there we go, the UCA222 from Behringer, just being tested. For, as far as the input, not bad. The output, it's a little bit noisy, and it's got the uh, high-end noise as well, at, uh, as you've seen, in around 7.5 kHz and 15 kHz, which is probably the harmonics of it. For the price, I mean, I paid $30 this on eBay, delivered, where in the shops, it usually it's about... 69 to 79 dollars comes in a box um, and a CD and, and, and so on. But I guess for the price, if you add a little bit more on top, you might get something a little bit better than um, the quality of this thing, plus a little bit more options. Anything between 100 to 120, 130 dollars, you might get a better um, audio interface. But if you already have a mixer, and you just want to capture the uh, audio from your mixer that doesn't have USB, you can just certainly purchase this uh, and plug it in and then you'll be able to record it. As you've seen, recording of it, you know, it's uh, the noise floor is quite low, so it, it'll be nice and clear signal coming in. It just going out is a little bit noisy. So if you have any comments uh, and if there's anything that you'd like to find out, uh, about my testing and how I tested it, feel free to comment below. I'm more than happy to answer them for you. So I hope this gives you a better idea of the quality of the UCA Triple Two from Behringer. Till next time, as always, thanks for watching. Cheerio.